What do you guys think about the direction of the program? There's been some talk this week about Kyle Flood, and if they don't, you know, get one more win and get to a bowl game, you know, could he be in some trouble? He's a guy that he's done a nice job, but not a, you know, they haven't won a national championship or anything like that. He's not winning ten games a year where he's untouchable. Every coach uh, has to, you know, feel the wrath of winning and losing at some point. They started off five and one, tough stretch here. Do you think they're on the right path, the direction of this program under Kyle Flood? I know you guys didn't play for him, but you've watched from afar. Uh, Devin, how about the direction here of Rutgers? Uh, I like it. I mean, the one thing I've learned in, you know, professional and college football, there's always a business aspect to it. So um, it's tough. You know, if they don't go to a bowl game, I think people will be all over Coach Flood. And, you know, whether that's right or wrong, you know, in the business of coaching and college football, sometimes doesn't matter. I think he's done a great job of, you know, taking a team, you know, you move right into the Big Ten, um, and they're competitive. You know, they go out there, they play hard. Uh, I think anyone who thought they were going to be able to jump in the Big Ten and get ten wins right away, uh, I don't know. I think that's, you know, that's not fair to put on them. But I, I like the direction he's going in. I think Coach Willett gets a lot out of the kids. And I think when you talk about college football, I think that's the key, trying to get everything you can out of your team. Um, even if you go, I remember we been we were in college, you know, we played some teams talent-wise that were probably better than us. But, you know, us just going out there playing as hard as we can and, and sticking to the game plan won us some games. So uh, I think if they could just stick to that, you know, I think it will be a big game versus Indiana. And then, you know, going out there playing another good team in Michigan State, uh, you know, I hope they go out there and play well and, you know, Kyle, Coach Blood can stay there. Yeah, definitely. You, I, would, I would definitely agree, you know, uh, especially with our time there being uh, obviously not playing often, so not getting a chance to uh, be with Coach Flood on an everyday basis in the meeting rooms, but uh, just being him being there as a coach while we were there at Rutgers, uh, he's a really good coach, you know, a, a guy that understands his players and understands uh, what it takes to uh, get them performing at, a, uh, at an elite level. And, you know, uh, about being bowl eligible, once we win uh, this weekend versus Indiana, we'll be bowl eligible. So uh, that question mark will go out the window and we'll, uh, then be choosing which bowl we're going to go to. So uh, I'm I'm confident in what this team can do and the way that it's grown. You know, first year in the Big Ten uh, to be able to uh, get a huge win at Michigan, you know, and still continue to grow, uh, get a win uh, versus Indiana and finish strong versus Maryland with another win. I think it'll be uh, a step in the right direction for year one in the Big Ten. Guys, I'm curious. Take me back to when you you two were being recruited and you ultimately made a decision to go to Rutgers. Every time we talk about Kyle Flood here, especially with Rutgers fans and NJ.com, they always get they always get so worried that recruits are looking at the message boards or the or our posts on NJ.com and and recruits are paying so much attention to what's going on with the coaching staff. When you were 18, when you were 17 years old, and you were going to pick Rutgers, how much attention did you pay to? How many years left on Greg Schiano's deal he had? Did you pay attention to that stuff, or did you just pick Rutgers because you thought it was the right fit for you? Let's go to Jason first. Uh, that's a little bit of both. You know, for Dev, uh, I was the better player in high school, so I was the one with more offers, and Rutgers kind of offered him to get me uh, to go there and kind of was a package deal, so he probably won't have much to say about it, but uh, it definitely comes into play. I remember being recruited by uh, Boston College and Coach O'Brien coming to the house and sitting there talking to him, and there was – uh, a ton of speculation about him being there as the head coach. And I remember my mom asking him about that. And, you know, he he uh, boldly just said, you know, you can't pick a school because of the coach because you never know uh, what's going to happen. And obviously I chose not to go to that school. But uh, it's the truth. You know, I can't say, obviously, as a young kid, uh, you, your parents, you're going to have some concern about there. There's a lot of talk of the coach not being there, but at the same time, you have to pick your school because of the fit because you could have uh, just come off a, a great season and went to a great bowl game and won, and you're feeling really good about the coach and the program, and uh, you get there, and next thing you know, your coach leaves to go to a bigger school. So you just never know what can happen. And like Dev said earlier, with the business side of sports, whether it's professional or college, mm -hmm. uh, there's always things changing, and the one thing, uh, that it's constant is change, so you uh, always have to just be aware of that. Yeah, I mean, I agree. When you're 18 years old, I think you do pay attention a lot to the coaching staff and what's going on just because I remember when we were coming out, like Jay said, um, he was a better high school player, I was a better college player and a better pro, so, I mean, it's all in what you want to be in life. You want to be the better high school player, you be Jason. You want to be a better pro, you be me, so... Um, I think, you know, at 18, though, you pay attention to a lot of that. You know, you want a coach to be there. You want, 
you want to go in the direction he has a program going and you don't want to learn a whole new direction. So I remember paying attention to it a lot, but, you know, once we got to school, you realize how many people were actually involved in that direction, you know, whether it be the AD, the president of school, everyone is all in. So it might not be there. I don't know if it's fair. And I think you got to believe in him as a coach to, to go there. And I think he gives you all the right signs that you can believe in him.